Hello everyone, good morning. Today is finally the day. I woke up for 10 to pee. I know I will not be able to sleep again that time, so I lie down on the bed and waited if I can sleep, but I was not really able to sleep because your baby is kicking a lot. So I went out of the room at 4.30. <laughs> and I stayed here until 5 o'clock and now I'm making bread I'm gonna eat some the doctor told me that I need to eat a little bit before we go to the hospital today the people that will go to the hospital is me, PJ and then dad mommy will stay home because she will cook some food and bring it to the hospital the doctor said she can bring some food to the hospital in case I want to eat some home food so that's why mommy will stay here then mommy will also cook some food for PJ so he can come home and eat and then he can come back to the hospital since the hospital is not really that far then when mommy is not busy anymore she will go to the hospital so yeah the doctor said we need to be there at six o'clock because we need to file papers and stuff and she said it takes one hour so that at 7 o'clock the papers will be done and then they can give me the medicine for induced labor and so the pain should start very soon. The doctor said her goal is to have me give birth today only until night. I woke up early not because I'm nervous or excited or something but I usually wake up during these hours like I wake up 4.30 to pee and then I will not be able to sleep until 6 o'clock because our baby will be kicking a lot then that routine became really useful because I woke up and then I braid my hair and brush my teeth and then now I'm prepared this is the clothes that I'm gonna wear to the hospital PJ like this color so <laughs> I choose this one and they said that wear something comfortable there so this is very comfortable for me I will see you later when we go to the hospital We're waiting to file some papers. PJ and Daddy. PJ is reading some stuff. Hello. What are you reading? What are you reading? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you got it. bed now the room that I showed you and then they put stuff on my tummy like there's <laughs> like there's some devices here to listen to the baby's heartbeat like this one they are monitoring the baby's heartbeat so I'm alone in this room nobody is here there are like three beds here I don't know if this is gonna be my room because BG was trying to book like a private room but I'm just here somebody give me medicine for inducing pain it's on my tongue below she said it's for inducing pain PJ is here! A while ago, they were saying like he's not allowed or something. He brought me some food. I will eat this without washing. No choice. <laughs> and there's apple, but I don't know if I have knife. I don't know, plate also, so it's gonna be hard to eat. You finished the papers? Yeah. I will bring you from home. I'll cut it and bring it. Uh, I 
pwede no? Okay, let's see. Okay. Good <laughs> night. It's okay. I'll keep it. He gave me some charger. Hey, get pretty. Thanks. The medicine is all gone. It all dissolved. So a while ago, I asked PJ if he can come here. He said he's not allowed to come. But thankfully, they let him come and then they give him like an ID or something, like a card so he can come inside. So yeah, I'm alone here. Maybe PJ will bring mommy here so I have somebody to talk to. <laughs> Nobody is here, so yeah. They're still monitoring the heartbeat. It's here. There's like a paper with lines. And then, yeah. Just waiting for the pain to come. OMG. I'm kind of nervous about it. But yeah, this is it. <laughs> No, this is not the li no, this is not the final oh. room. Final room is worse. It's worse. This is very good actually. Okay, I was expecting more. Okay, good. Thank you. 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 Your pain started? I'm at 8. That's why I'm smiling now. Later. What if? Later, I'm not smiling. Maybe the. I'm asking about like any event. Is that like something nice? I don't think so. You can bend it. But you have to ask the nurse. Isn't that the final bed and maybe not? You can, you can. All, ba all these beds are bendable. No, I don't know. There is a button for nurse call. Yeah. I feel cold. The aircon is like blowing hard. I asked PJ to put my things. <laughs> I think my pain is starting. Ah, really? <laughs> I'm trying. I think I can feel some pain now, guys. So I don't know. Okay. See, my feet is becoming kind of dark because there are some itchy stuff that's happening again. Hala, OMG, my my tummy. Okay, okay. It is correct. It's. <laughs> no, I think it is. Just try it. Sit like that, it's okay. I will get you a jacket from home. I will get you your Who said? I will bring you. Papa will bring you. Bolu. But it it will become cold by now. By by the time it comes here. Live moments. And it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I did not say you said it. Maybe.
got transferred to a new room. This is our room. <laughs> new room. Daddy's here. PJ went back home to get something. So this is the bed. And then there are some stuff in the chair. So yeah. This is my first time getting this one. The needle is really big and then she put like an antibiotic stuff, the one with the pen. She said if there is like a reaction or something, then I will call them. But yeah, this is the first time I'm getting this one. I was kind of scared but it was actually kind of okay. Still. The needle is really big. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> but yeah. My father-in-law is getting me food. I'm kind of hungry. And I can feel some pain on my tummy. But for now, it's bearable. And this is my food for now. We have soup. This soup. Oh, soup. And some fruits. Chai. And sandwich. वो अपने आप देंगे मैम मम्मी का तो हो गया सही टाइम डोंट लाफ हटिंग पिक्चर वीडियो Hello everyone, it's been few days since my delivery and today I'm going to share to you my emergency c-section experience because I was not able to take a video on the day that I give birth because that day I was very very tired and I was in pain all over so I was not really able to share to you my experience. The day that we went to the hospital that was the day the doctor told us to go there for a scheduled induced labor. Early in the morning after filing all the papers somebody gave me a medicine like two tablets and put it underneath my tongue and let it dissolve so that the pain will start. They give me the medicine at about 7 30 or something so they give me the medicine at 7 30 and i stayed in the room that i showed you a while ago after that we transferred to another room and another lady gave me another set of medicine two of them to put underneath my tongue again for induced labor after the doctor forcefully break my water that's the time when the pain start and I could not really explain how painful it is. That time also PJ went home to get food and some stuff. So when the pain started, he was not in our room. And PJ is allowed in our room that time because I was not really like in the labor room. But PJ was not there and I was all in pain. Like it was super painful guys. I really thought that that's the last day of my life. It was just super painful. My legs were shaking a lot my body was shaking a lot and then it was just super painful they did a lot of things they put some monitoring for the baby's heartbeat and a lot of other things they did the doctor told me that the baby's heartbeat is very low so it's not a good idea to wait for a normal delivery because the baby's heartbeat is not good 
she said it needs to be normal we can wait for a little bit and then when it becomes normal then we can wait for the full labor so we can try normal delivery so we waited for some time i was in pain for like two hours straight i cannot really explain it like it's just super painful it's like my contractions are not even like five minutes apart or some people say 20 minutes apart they have their labor but my labor is like one minute apart only like there's one minute you can breathe and then after that there's like two minutes or three minutes where i'm in pain it continued like that for three hours after some time the baby's heartbeat became better so the doctor said okay we can wait for some time for the normal delivery but after some time the baby's heartbeat became high again so the doctor said that the baby is in distress and we really need to take out the baby very soon and pj was not there that time guys so the doctor asked me while i'm all in pain what's pj's number so she can call him the doctor called pj pj hurriedly went to the hospital and then they discussed that i cannot really give birth naturally because the baby is in distress and they really need to take it out or else something bad will happen to me and the baby so we signed some papers even though i was all in pain guys i was signing some papers that i'm okay for c-section pj even asked for epidural but the doctor said that we need to wait one more hour so they can give me the epidural and i can try normal delivery but one hour i cannot really wait that long it was super painful guys and pj saw me all in pain she said i don't think she can handle one more hour so we will just take out the baby via c-section i was holding the handle all the time because i don't have any hand to hold guys so i hold the handle while i was in pain when pj arrived i hold his hand he was there for like 10 minutes only and then they rushed me to the operating room and while going to the operating room guys i was shaking a lot so while i was in the operating room they injected me some numbing stuff behind on the back it i thought it was an epidural but it's not really an epidural it's like an injection for your whole lower body to be numb so they put that to me and then after a few minutes they prepared me and then i just can't explain the feeling of c-section like my body is numb but i can feel that they are doing something to my tummy so they cut my tummy and then i did not know that when you have c-section they will still push your tummy so they push my tummy hard so the baby can come out i can feel all of it and i'm also shivering a lot like they put warm air on me they put some warm pads or something to keep me warm but i'm still shaking a lot the doctor told me i need to relax i was trying to relax but I don't know why I was shivering a lot and there was another doctor there he said that I'm having an anxiety and because of that anxiety I'm bleeding more than usual so our gynecologist that's why she said that I need to relax but I don't really know how to relax guys I just feel super duper cold I was shaking a lot so I don't know what happened and then after some time of pushing my tummy to make the baby come out when the baby came out after like one minute or like even seconds only the baby cried and then i was like omg my baby is finally crying and i was so happy that the baby is okay and then huh my video got cut because somebody pooped <laughs> we cleaned it it's like very chaotic he cries a lot and stuff i was sharing my labor experience while i was in the operating room when our baby finally came out i heard his cry 30 seconds after only like that's very quick and when i heard it i was like oh gee thankfully he's out the doctor told my family that it's good that we did emergency c-section because the baby already started pooping inside when they took him out so it's good that we did that after they washed the baby and did some things to the baby they showed it to me and they said that congratulations ma'am you have a boy and the first thing that i really noticed when they showed me our baby is that his nails are really long and it's very nice <laughs> i was like i was only looking at the nails i was like whoa he has really nice nails 
And I also saw that he's really a boy. PJ and me, before I had my delivery, we really don't know what's the gender of our baby. PJ said that he feels like our baby's a girl. And then I said, I feel like he's a boy. And then when I saw the baby, I also think of that like, oh, I am right. It's really a boy. I don't really know what it feels like to have a girl or a boy. But it's just like some kind of instinct that, oh. I think our baby's a boy. After the delivery, they took me out of the operating room and then I went to some other room with some other people who just got out of the operating room and I waited there for like two hours because our baby was born in the afternoon. Since we arrived there at the hospital in the morning, I had delivery in the afternoon because of the things that happened that I explained a while ago. After two hours, we went back to our room and the first person that I saw is my father-in-law. He said that you did a good job and we went to the room and when we arrived there near the room, I saw PJ and I was crying. <laughs> I was crying a lot because I never imagined this kind of pain in my life. And PJ was saying, why are you crying? You finally had your baby and everything is okay, me and the baby. And then I cannot even tell him that I'm crying because I'm happy to see him, that I'm happy that it's finally over. And I'm just so happy to see PJ when we were going there to the room. So I was crying a lot. And then, so when we went to the room, my in-laws are asking, why am I crying when everything is okay? I was just like, I'm just happy that everything turned out to be okay so yeah my in-laws were very happy seeing the baby and pj also after a few minutes they showed me the baby they put the baby beside me but and show it to me so yeah that's what happened during my emergency c-section i just want to share it to you in case you are also curious about it because this is my first time and i don't really know the process and how painful it is and now i really know about it it's like omg it's just super duper painful but after seeing the baby i was like it was all worth it that same night they taught me how to breastfeed our baby and thankfully the first night that they give the baby to me to try for breastfeeding i have milk because I noticed it before our baby was born that my chest is already producing some milk so I'm really hoping that it's gonna produce more milk when the baby is out and thankfully that first night my breasts have milk so so I'm really happy about it that I'm able to give our baby milk so yeah that's my experience thank you so much for watching and for listening and I will see you on the next video bye, -bye.